Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about um, one of my biggest fears with the surgery that's coming up. It is not what you think it is. It is not um, worrying about death or the what ifs. I worry about those too. But my biggest fear is the IV uh, for anesthesia. Um, I, I have a, a serious uh, traumatic reaction from stress for that. They, I'm a hard stick. I mean, you can't see my veins in my hands and I don't know why they always want to go in um, through the hand for anesthesia. Um, they can get the elbow vein, it's fine, but they insist on the hand. And so it's always a, um, a traumatic experience of them tapping the vein, trying to get it to pop, warming me up everything they they can try to get the vein to pop i'm just a hard stick i always have been um i actually have a fear of veins so um i'm i'm glad that you don't see my veins so most people have veins that pop in their hands you know and you can see them um that freaks me out um so it's not necessarily a fear of needles like i thought because now i'm not afraid of the needles so i can get labs done just fine um as long as I have a good phlebotomist, which are always at the cancer centers, by the way, they're the best. Um, so thank you guys. You're amazing. Um, it is the fear of veins. <laughs> so things going in my veins um, and trying to get my veins to pop. It just creeps me the F out. So that's my biggest fear. Um, so what happens to me is um, vasovagal syncope. Um, I lose my hearing, I lose my vision, um, I get nauseous, I get dizzy, and then I tend to pass out, and then I tend to vomit when I wake up. And um, I either get nurses that don't care, which is fine, just get it done, um, or I get nurses that are too, too oh, you poor thing, blah, blah, blah. I don't want anybody to feed my fear. I just want them to get it done. So it's even worse when it's somebody who's um, who's impatient with you for something you can't control. Um, and then they just keep trying when I always tell them, I'm a hard stick. Please get the best person. Like, get over yourself. Get over your ego and get the best person in here. And it's usually the anesthesiologist. <laughs> so what's happened every time is eventually the anesthesiologist gets impatient waiting for me to get into the operating room and they come in and they're they're frustrated because they've been waiting and they just do it and yeah it fucking hurts but you know what at least it's done so i think this time i'll just ask for the anesthesiologist <laughs> um anyway that's my my biggest worry right now my biggest stressor and even just thinking about it will make me dizzy and nauseous and my hearing starts to get a little uh, staticky. Um, so that's what I deal with. That's the worst part for me. Sorry, I spit. Uh, I'm not worried about anything else. That's what I'm worried about. So um, if you deal with that or have, how did you get over it? Because I've tried to desensitize myself and everything I've been through. Um, you know, I was diagnosed with appendix cancer in 2019. I get my labs drawn all the time. I've been in active treatment. I've been through this surgery before. I've been through other surgeries before. And the IV access is the one thing I cannot get over. So if you have had that reaction, how, how did you move beyond that? Let me know. Um, I try to desensitize myself, but even just reading about how to do that and watching the videos, I start to get dizzy and nauseous and I'll keep trying. But if you have any other tips, let me know. I tell myself I'm a baby. I try to distract myself. My husband will play me animal videos, which help. Um, I've tried all sorts of things, but this fear was so bad that in the beginning when I was first diagnosed, I cried every time I had to have labs done. Like I panicked and I cried. And then um, I learned that some phlebotomists were better for me, not just because they were really good at their jobs, but because of the way they handled me. And so I would start requesting that as I made appointments. I would say, I need this person to do it because otherwise I might vomit. And so that helped. Um, 
And now I don't want anybody who looks at me and says, oh, I can't see the vein. I can't find a vein. You have small veins. Uh-uh. No. Get somebody else. <laughs> I'm not that person to mess with. Um, it's the F around and find out with me because I will throw up all over you. <laughs> so anyway, if you have any advice for me, please let me know. Thanks for listening.